Peace, what the Guan, Ho Tip, you know, all that good stuff. 13. Uh, I want to talk about habits, you know. Um, habits, you know, it's all about mind over matter when you're trying to break or quit any habit. It's mind over matter. The problem is you let the matter go over the mind. You know, me just stepping back and seeing what's going on, you know, with the people. Um, and I mean, I broke some habits. I'm still breaking habits, you know. That's that's life. Um, but our mind gets so conditioned to think it has to be this kind of way on a routine basis, on a daily basis, you know. Um, and it don't have to be like that. You know, you can control it. You got the power to control it. Um, it's mind over matter, but it's also the company you keep. Monkey see, monkey do. That's just part of life. You need to separate. If most of your friends are engaging in the same negative or uh, not negative, well, yeah, they are bad habits. Um, you need to remove yourself from those company, from the company of those people. And sometimes it takes leaving completely. Uh, like I said, I had to step out far away from people that I grew up around because, I mean, everybody is engaging in something. I mean, everybody I grew up with, I mean, you, you name them, you know, is engaging in something that I don't do on a daily basis, but they do it on a daily basis, you know. Um, you know, everybody's into something. And, you know, tobacco is just crazy, you know. Everybody's on tobacco in some form or fashion. They're either smoking black and miles, they're either smoking blunts, or they're either smoking uh, cigarettes. And, but just the mind is so conditioned to think it's okay to do these things, and it, it creates all kinds of excuses. But just the thought pattern. This, now, I used to think like this, too. Uh, now that I'm stepping away from it, I'm thinking, like, what was I doing thinking like this? This was retarded to even think like this. Um, when a person say they can't get high unless it's in a blunt. That's got to be the dumbest mentality. That's got to be the dumbest thought process that you created and you believed, you know. And I thought like that too. You get, it's the same amount of THC. Now, some joint papers are smaller, granted, yeah, but you can get big joint papers just the same size as blunts. So if it's the same amount, they both contain the same concentration of THC, they both the same grade, how can you sit here and say you can't get high unless it's in a blunt? That's the condition mentality of doing something every day that you, you've just been so accustomed to doing it that now you think you can't even do it in any other form. Wow. You know, that's kind of some ghetto shit too, to be honest with you though, because... You know, most of the so-called, you know, white people, pale, other other groups of people, they don't get down like that. Like, and give it to me any way you want to give it to me. Joint, bong, blunt, whatever. You know, but some of the so-called white people that just want to do blunts, they kind of want to live that ghetto life too. So, you know, the ghetto life ain't got nothing to do with skin tone. This video ain't really about that. I'm saying that it's easy. Tobacco is easy. Stepping away, that's the first thing I did, you know, because, um, I mean, once I did that, you know, then I knew everything else was going to be easy, you know, the meat and all that. But really, it's not that hard. It's simple. You know, once you get past the three days, four days, you should be home free. You should be home free after you get past, you know, those days. I'm not saying this over. The craving is over after three or four days. I'm not saying that. Uh, but if you get an herb call, if you get blue-green algae from Klamath Lake, I think they have a lot of different, uh, they all don't come from Klamath Lake or whatever, but blue-green algae from Klamath Lake, that helped me. Anytime I had the urge, you know, I would mix it. I would get it in a pill it came in capsules. I would just pop one of those capsules um, 
and it helped cut back on the craving. Um, I'm going to do some research and link a little list on the bottom of this video too because I didn't do no research on it like that. And there's other herbs that you can take to supplement, you know, your craving. Uh, but you know that they put sugar in those tobacco products. That's what gets you hooked, the sugar. They put sugar in tobacco. And that's why it was a big difference between when the Native Americans partook of it and they didn't do it every day. And they didn't have the craving to do it every day with that sugar. So, you know, you got to eliminate tobacco products. I mean, you can't really move forward in no, any mission of health when you constantly put smoke in your lungs. Like, you know. But it don't take a rocket scientist to know this. I shouldn't even, you know, shouldn't even make a video. I shouldn't even be making a video like this, really. But I just felt the need to, to make a video because, like I said, it's everybody that I know. Like, everybody that I know is on something pertaining to those, you know, very few, at least that I associate with, is not partaking in, in some type of tobacco product, you know. You don't have to be bound down to a little cigarette like that, you know. Um, you don't have to be bound down to a blunt, you know. If you want to go in stages with the blunts, go to the papers, you know, get the raw papers, then move to a vaporizer, then move to not even doing it like that, you know. Like, me, I'm not, you know, I don't have to vaporize every day, you know. You know, I take time off, just took a week off, I take several weeks off at a time. Um, and, uh, you know, it's mind over matter, but I'm just trying to say that there's a healthier way to do it. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's not exactly what you do, it's how you do it. You can vaporize tobacco now, you know. But like I said, that sugar, you're never going to be in optimal health. Never going to be in optimal health as long as you got cigarettes and as long as you got tobacco, you know, as long as you got tobacco products in your body, you're never going to be at optimal health. So, you know, any health advice or nothing, you know, is really obsolete. You know, if you, if you, you know, I wouldn't even put anybody on any type of health plan, anything like you know, do you. The only thing I say is, you know, stop smoking cigarettes and then we can talk about certain certain herbs, certain uh, foods that will help you, you know which will help, but as long as you keep putting tobacco in your system, you're going to weaken your immune system. Like, that's that's a guarantee, you know. So, you know, the foods that help, I mean, that with the meats and all, the combination of all that would just, is just very detrimental, but, you know, raw vegan that smokes cigarettes, you know, is going to have problems, you know, so. It don't eliminate the fact that, you know, I'm not going to get into all the damage that it does. Everyone knows that. You know that, you know. Um, but, you know, everybody got to do it on their own, you know. Um, I'm just telling you from experience. I'm just trying to let y'all know that you don't need no patch or you don't need nothing like that. You know, you just have to eliminate it. You got to find an area that's confined Get away. Spend some time away with somebody who don't smoke. Find non-smokers. Find non-smokers and hang around them for a little while. You know, we all got some out there. You know, I'm trying to think of a few that I have that I actually associate with now that that's that's not taken, like even off of Facebook and things. You know, because now it don't matter because I'm good. Like I said, that's the first thing I stopped with cigarettes. You know, because I want to fully represent this. I don't want to be talking about health. And then at the end of a session, if I'm speaking with little children or something like that, I get in my car. I'm so shaking. I've been wanting to smoke a cigarette the whole time, talking about health. And then I go light one up in the car and somebody see me. That's just like a false representation. You know what I mean? Like of, of the life, of the lifestyle. And, I, you know, I just don't want that. To me, I don't want to be hypocritical, you know, say one thing, but then I'm doing something else, you know, because people will look at you funny like that, like, hold up. They might just disregard everything, like, you know, 
and all the good information you had are just get thrown out the window because you know I talk about discipline and you know you tobacco it's not discipline that's not discipline you know when you you know and I don't I don't practice I don't practice anything you know and that's another reason you know I don't practice anything because I like to verify the source of where, you know, where I'm getting it from. And, you know, people don't, the people could mean the utmost good and well, but there's a certain energy that lingers around those habits. And it brushes off on your audience. It brushes off on your audience. So, you know, you know, when you detach, that's a part of it. You got to, you know, your body is a temple. You know, if you constantly put something in that's poison, you know, that's mind. I mean, think about it. You know, your brain, you know, you let, you being controlled, you being manipulated mentally. You know, um, if you know something is poison, yet you partake it like that. That's not sanity. That's not a sane creature wouldn't do that, you know. Um, they just wouldn't, you know. Any animal in nature would not consistently put something in their body that they know is going to kill them. Been proven, tried, proven results of failure. They wouldn't do that, you know. Um, so the power is within you. Um, but you got to tap into it. Become a living example. You know, become a living example of this. You know, when I see that, Boom, y'all, you know, you're doing your thing with your tobacco. I see right there. That's lack of discipline. And it's simple. Once you get past that, that stage, you don't even crave. I don't even. Psh. It's the last thing I be wanting is the damn cigarette, you know. Or any any tobacco form. You know, I took, now look, after a couple of years, I took a puff off a of blunt. You know, and this was still a while ago, like almost a year ago. After I was off for a couple of years, somebody, you know, somebody I was with had some. And I couldn't even, that was it. I ain't want no more. My body didn't even, I felt their artificialness and they got all these artificial flavored blunts and stuff. My body went into a crazy reaction. Like, what? No way. Like, you know, if, if I would have puffed that whole blunt, I probably would have got sick, you know. You don't know how damaging those products are and how artificial those products are. Dutch Masters and all of those artificial flavored blunts, they targeting, they targeting, you know, Nubian brown skin people or, you know, ghetto, the rap music scene. They targeting those kind of people. And uh, those chemicals is not nice. It's not nice. You can do it, mind over matter, like I said, but you know, that's just my future reference. If anyone asks me anything about health, I'm gonna ask them, what do they do? You know, do they do, do you smoke cigarettes? You know, it's gonna be my question. You know, and if you smoking cigarettes, don't ask me nothing else. Don't give me no more. Don't ask any more. You know, don't ask no advice from me, because uh, you know, I can't really help that person. You know. That person is going to have to help themselves and eliminate that habit. You know. Otherwise, it don't. What I'm saying is like, psh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say. You know, eventually your shit's going to break down. Your throat, you know, and lungs. That stuff is going to break down, and you know, you deserve better. Is what I'm saying. The people that's doing, you know, like it's the breathing. You know, at night, you know, it's just so, ah, the air is just so cleaner in my, in, you know, inside my chest. So, you know, I'm willing to walk y'all through these stages, you know, because I've been there and done that. So that's why I'm standing up here representing this, this lifestyle. I'm not going to falsely do it. And, you know, to me, that's that both sides of the fence. That's an example of playing both sides of the fence. You don't, you don't want you either all the way over or you either all the way on this side or you just over on the process. Just go back to living a process life, meat and all, you know, you know, it don't work. You know, 
It don't work like that. Granted, I'm not, you know, I got flaws. I'm not saying that. You know. But my flaws is within my inner self, but I know my flaws. I know my flaws. I'm not afraid to lay my flaws on the table either. You know, but I'm not going to have a very minor flaw like that become a major flaw in, within my own health because I love my temple, you know. That's self-hate. You keep poisoning yourself. It's self-hate, you know. I don't know how someone can tell me they love themselves when, they, when they, you're poisoning yourself. You know? that, that don't work. It don't work. It don't work both ways, so the intentions is good, but we're not in that time where good intentions is going to allow you to make the shift. It's not, you know, good intentions is not enough. You got to really push forward and use your inner spirit, your inner being to dominate it. You know, that's all. Dominate it. And like I said, I still like do my thing or whatever with the vaporizer, but you know, hey, we all working to get there. You know what I mean? We all working to get there, but see, I'm strong enough to like, if I don't, can't do it my way, I'm not going to do it at all. And y'all seen me when I was up there. Those, I mean, you know, the people that see me up the way. Uh, like, I really don't know how many of y'all actually watch. A couple of y'all from up, up where I live, why I actually watch my videos. But the last time I was up there, you know, I wasn't partaking in the stuff. I wasn't partaking in, you know, drinking, you know, uh, you know. I wasn't partaking in smoking. I wasn't partaking in smoking blunts. You know what I mean? So... That's that. I don't promote that. I don't really promote smoke in any form, you know, so. But that's that. I'm kind of rattling on now. Uh, I'm going to end it. I know people don't like videos too long or whatever, but uh, yeah, more music is on the way. Detachment Music. I got a YouTube channel, Detachment Music. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't upload any videos yet, but I just want to separate the content, music, from me talking to y'all, you know, that and that. I guess I can embed the video, yeah, like the, the videos that I have, the music videos, embed them onto detachment music, and that way I can like, keep the same views, I, I think, but uh, if not, I'll probably just keep those videos, like the, at least Don't Get Left Behind and Infinite Zones, the still image videos, I'll probably keep those two, and you know, just pull the other ones on to detachment music, and I'm also wanna um, any artist that's on the same vibe. I wanna help advertise them as well. So you know, any music you got, um, I can add a still image. It might not be like a video, like like how I did. Don't get left behind, because I just might not have the time to do it like that. But I might just add a couple photos in there, still image music. If you don't have a video, but yeah, but that's about it. So, you know, the tobacco, y'all don't need it. I just had to mention that because it's just like, you know, everyone I know is like on the tobacco like that, you know. And you can do it. it ain't really nothing to it. You know, ain't nothing to it. Blue-green algae help. I'll put a list of herbs that help when you're trying to get off. And there it is. So check me out next time. Peace.